Terry Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a decimal to a binary uh, sequence. So first off, let's just uh, see how this is stored. So we have our sign bit, which is 1 or 0, 1 being negative, 0 being positive. Then we have our 8-bit word. And then I think it's our 23, I'm pretty sure it's 23-bit mantis. Um, and altogether this is 32 bits. And this is how we're going to store negative 15.5. So let me just uh, erase this. Alright, so now we have our formula here. 0. 0.5 has to be, the answer has to be greater than or equal to 0. 0.5. We take 15.5, drop the negative sign, put it over 2 to the xth power, and it has to be less than 1. So that's our formula. Now this negative sign, we can just make like a little uh, test here. Negative, yes. And we just have to make sure we uh, drop that sign bit in the first uh, place. So now we take our calculator out. And we plug in 15.5. 15.5 over 2. And then I'm sure there's a mathematical way to do this, but I just guess. I'll do 2 to the negative 4th first, and you see equals uh, 248. Well, that's not exactly between 0.5 and 1. So we're going to come back here, and I'm just going to do positive 4, which is really the answer. And we get 31 over 32, which is really 0.96875. So that qualifies. So we know that's true. x is equal to 4. And, actually, I'm going to get to that part in a second. So now we have to store this into an 8-bit word. So we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. 1, and uh, these are the values here. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So we're turning on the 4 here. So that equals 4. Now we have to add the bias, which is 200 sub 8, which is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, which is equal to 128. So we add that to this number here. Zero 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 one zero one zero 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 one. So that's our final answer for that part. So we can start constructing it down here. So we have 1 for the sign bit. And then we have our 8-bit word here. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. 8 bits. Now we have to make our mantissa here. So let me just erase this part up here. For the mantissa, we uh, got that point, uh, 0.96875 was our answer to that formula. So 0.96875. So now we have to start at 2 to the negative first power equals 0.5. Is, does that go into 0.9687? Seven five, and the answer is yes. So 0 0.5 minus nine six seven eight whatever is equal to 0 0.468757575. So now we drop down to here two to the negative second 0.25. So that's what that equals. Does that go into 0.46? Yes. 875, it does. So now we do 0 0.6785, 6875 minus 0.25 equals 0.21875. And um, so now we go to negative third equals 0.125. Does that go into 0.21875? Yes, it does. So minus 0.125 equals 
point zero nine three seven five and then two to the negative fourth see I kind of forgot that piece there to the negative fourth equals point zero six two five does that go into this? Yes, it does. So we do um, 0 0.09375 minus 0 0.0625 equals 0 0.03125. And when we drop down to 2 to the negative fifth power, to the negative fifth power equals 0 0.03125 and that exactly goes into our answer up here. So we found our final area. So now this is a first sign bit, second sign bit, or uh, these are not sign bits, these are bits that are turned on. So this is turned on, turned on, turned on. So we have one, two, three, four, five. This first one does not get included in the mantissa since it is always above 0.5 no matter what this is always going to be a turned on bit so we're going to take these four bits and we're going to construct them down here so one two three four and then we're going to just put zeros for the however many uh, bits we have trailing here okay let's back up and say that um, our x value was truly not four it was negative four and we need to store this uh, eight bit number as a negative number so let me just get rid of this here, and it does not affect the outcome of the mantissa. So, all right, find a pen here. All right, so let's say our x is negative four. So we would take uh, this negative four here, and we would make it a normal eight-bit number. So one, two, three, four. 1, 0, 0, so 1, 2, 3, 8. Now we want to do a 2's complement, so we flip the bit, so we go 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And now we need to add 1 to this value here. So we're going to do uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is out of the equation, so cut that out. Um, a little deceiving there. Alright, that's more like it. Alright, so when you have uh, one, 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 that's a zero, but it transfers the one over there. It's a zero, but it transfers the one over there. So one, 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 one. So you get this answer right here. So zero, zero, so on. Now we need to add the bias. 200 Eight, as if we were just adding um, a regular positive 4. We just went through these two steps here, the 2's complement, and now we're just going to continue on with the, um, the bias for that, which is really 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, which really is just a 0 in front. So out of that, we get 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 0. So that will be our final stored negative 4 value as our 8-bit word.